Hi, and welcome to another session of One on One Academy. Here we want to introduce the Diamond Clear. This is a very simple approach to it. It just gives you the basic schematic. And on another session, we'll cover more details on how this Diamond Clear works against different rides and maybe get some video involved. But for this one, let's get the schematic down. So let's talk about the coaching points that you have to have in the Diamond Clear. The first is your players need to sprint to their spots with their head torn, turned towards the goalie to give him an outlet. Nothing is worse than watching a player run up the field to his spot in the clear and he's wide open and the goalie came and tossed him the ball. Make sure they have the head turns. Number two, the under midi, the low midi, needs to do the work. So he's doing a horseshoe and working towards the ball. And a lot of times that will be an easy pass. We'll see that in the next uh, slide of the schematic. You'll see who that under midi is. He's a low midi. Third, let the ball do the work. No easier way to clear than to making passes quickly and efficiently. Lastly, keep your space. A lot of players will tend to bunch in. They'll get tight inside the boxes. We want to stay out wide. Keep our spacing. Let that let make the attack and the middies cover more ground if they want to ride us well. This is simple clear. Let's get to the schematic. All right, so this is a diagram here of our diamond clear. Now let's just assume that we're set up in a uh, two, three, one for the offense. So the defense is kind of in that set. And we're sort of just drawing this from that angle. So we're going to show guys running out from these spots. Obviously in a game, it's not going to look just like this and different guys are in different spots. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but just sort of understanding the placement of where guys uh, belong. So the first thing that we're going to look at here is we're going to look at where the, the middies go. So this up midi, this high midi is going to come across the field and get over here to this spot here. This low midi is gonna come over here like this here and sit down in the low point of the diamond. Our LSM is gonna make this deep run here to this deep section of the field. And then our attack are gonna get deep, right? We're gonna get one deep back in here. We wanna get one deep in here and then one deep in here. That way they're out of the way. They don't affect the clear. Now let's talk about the defenders. So you can see there's a box side and a far side. On the box side defender, we're going to send this defender right here to mirror the midi. Now you can sub him if you want to, to get an additional short stick on. That is up to you. I generally have my poles handled, so I keep them on the field as much as possible. And I wanna avoid letting the other team get a substitution. These two low defense, we're gonna do banana curls like this and like this, okay? And so let's take a look at the next slide and see where we end up in these positions. Okay, so now that we have everyone in their spots, we'll assume the ball is still with the goalie. At this point, the goalie's probably coming out the back here, so he's probably gonna you know, end up over here. And you'll have the goalie here like this with the ball. So we'll erase it so you can see that. And what happens with in this sort of scenario is now we're gonna be set up in sort of breaking up the ride. And what we want to do is work our passes back and forth um, and, and then up the field. So let's just sort of simulate what the ride is going to be like. And let's assume that they're going to run what would be, I would call a mass feet ride. This is fairly simple. So they're going to have an attackman here, an attackman here. Uh, they're going to be locked on here. and be locked on here. They'll be locked on here. And then an attackman would be covering this defender. So as a, as a clearing team, you want to identify this as soon as possible. You can have a term for it. Uh, some teams call it the mic, like they do in football. Some teams call it, you know, just, you know, the, the, the dink pass, whatever you want to call it, you can, you can call whatever you want. Uh, but what you're going to do here is you're going to work, what you want to do is work a shift to this side. So you'll, you'd make a pass here, uh, over, and then you try to make this over pass here for two. This guy's going to push up the field. This guy push up the field, and then you make this dink pass like this for three, which gives you the, the clear. But this is that diamond clear setup against a match feet ride. This is essentially what you're working for, this sort of two-on-one scenario, uh, and you want to work towards the side where the attackment's covering. Generally speaking, rules of thumb, right? We always want to clear up the far side, up this side here. But in this scenario, uh, we're not going to do that probably because of where they have their attackment. The attackman could be on this side too, it just depends. Uh, but this is a general setup of the diamond clear. Thanks again for checking out another episode of One on One Academy. Getting better starts here.